What do you say? Parties. Girls, flash, meeting new people. I think they call that networking. Oh my gosh, hi. And I think you're supposed to do this maybe two to three times per week at least. I had this distorted outlook on how I was going to make it in America. I quickly found out that you can't serve two gods. Making it in America is based on who you know, where you stay, or how much money you make. This should be a cakewalk. I, I already opened a bunch of these, right? So you should check them out. Got the neon green with the uh, with the navy blue. You can freak that, you know what I'm saying? But there's two more boxes left. We all have Dreams crew next. Let's check them out. Let's check out the print, see, this is cool. Yeah, 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 this is, this, I like this. This is cool, print is good, for sure. It's simple, but can be put in so many different colorways. You feel me? And it's, su and it's such a statement, right? You know what I mean? Like it's a statement, it's like, we all do have dreams, you feel me? Where was this making it in America idea coming from? Because I'm taking it way too serious, even telling myself in private what I want this to be. My actual dream for the movie is to sell so many clothes, make this like a hundred million dollar brand, where in the dreamers kit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we, we'll pick dreamers and we'll fund their dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that, that's my ultimate goal. Imagine the delusion a person has when you're telling yourself you can build a hundred million dollar company supporting dreams. <laughs> Am I insane? Like many ideas, making it in America came from a TV show. That was my favorite, where two friends from New York City decided to start a brand. Yo, better get out of there, to get paid. I do not waste your time, don't waste your money. A million people before you have failed trying to do exactly what you want to do. 95% of people are thinking, don't do it, but won't say it. 4% will tell you, don't do it to your face. And 1% have done it and will support you. And that's why they're the one percent. Is the boxes? These are all the shirts. Getting ready to go to the distributor. We made it into almost like a drop shipping business, whereas no production work really goes on here. All of this stuff is going to the to the factory. This is the warehouse for my production and distribution partner in the U.S. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. I just. Give me an update uh, next week or whatever. I needed my business to be set up, so I had the ability to sell product, but still travel the world and meet dreamers. All right, so we're here meeting right now, um, doing a rollout for, man, what, next week? Oh, <laughs> Just, yeah. You know what I mean, this month. Well, we we got to capture all of this shit, you know what I mean? As we, you know what I mean, as we doing it. Okay, so I wrote something about the, docu about the documentary, ex convict turn entrepreneurs entrepreneur films 10-year journey telling stories of disadvantaged youth and helping them achieve their dreams uh and we all have dreams documentary that's perfect honestly i ain't even gonna lie because it gives the people enough and it gives them the right information where it's like okay we can make it make it happen so you know what i mean so maybe we do so maybe we do that and then also launches, you know what I'm saying, launches the brand to continue, you know what I mean, to continue the journey or something like that. Oh, no, no, yeah. See, and then that plays into a two-part story because you can right. get, we're giving them one thing into the next. 
Like, that's why if we show up on their page multiple times, I mean, multiple times, it makes it look less like advertisement. This rollout was for a documentary series I made about a 10 year journey I went on. Right behind Good Morning America, one of the producers, GMA Booking at ABC.com. And we wanted this outcome for our series. Anytime you start anything with a naiveness and an amateurism of not knowing what you're doing, you just don't know what's not possible. What's your dream? Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yo, 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 so we got the photo shoot going on right now, all dreams, you know what I'm saying? Top roof, 35, you know what I mean? We got my man right here, my man Stick, the trumpet player, you know what I mean? We got, the film, we got the filmmaker, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we got the filmmaker, no you know problem. what I mean? And then we got... So yeah, you know, that's what we got going on right now. It's a photo shoot, support all dreams. Super, super exciting, you know what I mean, to be doing this. Um, just feel, feel really, just really feel blessed. One more location and that's it. Let me see. I like it. Looks good on you. Everything that has became something starts. And who knows where it goes after that. Maybe the problem could be just the, the trailer and the story, but I didn't cut that trailer. And when you haven't done a project to this magnitude, you have to get the advice from the people that have the experience of doing it. Uh, see, the thing is, you know, let's just, the, the best thing for you is to find someone, if you can find, I, I don't think this trailer is successful. What I think you need to do somehow is to find someone with more experience in television. Like, you want to do a series, and this seems like it lends itself to series. Um, is to find someone with more experience in the TV realm, like a, someone who has experience as a TV producer or a book showrunner. And sometimes the truth hurts when you think you're there, but you're not quite there yet. Having their kind of credibility behind it would help, you know, approach networks. Right. You know? In lieu of that, like if that doesn't work, then, you know, potentially pursuing an independent route. Pursuing an independent route means you're going to be financing it, you know, and you're going to be doing all this stuff when you don't know whether you have distribution for it. Right. You know, so, you know, the, if possible, the better way is to try to, you know, get someone to, else to fund it in advance, and those are kind of streamers these days. Being in Atlanta was giving me the access. Because I invested in myself, I had built a brand and completed a four-part series ready to show Netflix. Now I needed to attach someone to the project. Could who I know take us to the outcome that we wanted? My friend Amir, formerly Loon from Bad Boy, needed me to film a message to the Muslims. So he came over and I would start with talking to him. You know, I mean, that'd be perfect. It's, it looks real personal. Uh, ready? With, with this. All right. Go ahead, action. Man. And alhamdulillah, wa wa After filming, I asked him for introductions to Diddy and also Dame Dash to possibly lend some credibility to my project. Another connection I have was with a producer named Lisa France that currently has a documentary on Netflix that was distributed by Ava DuVernay's company and possibly if she can give an introduction to Ava that might get us our outcome. Then Gronk's dad gave me an introduction to LeBron's partner Mav Carter and this was the email. 
How do you make it in America? It depends on your perception. For me, it was contingent on getting my series on Netflix and building this $100 million brand. But I had to question myself. Can I serve the God that gave me the vision to support dreams and do good in the world? And also serve a God that promotes deaf music, excessive party, flash, and women. The conclusion is it's impossible. So anything haram, I try to keep out of my life. Then I question, should I wait and chase credibility? Fuck no, and you shouldn't either. Keep motion and they'll respect your hustle. And trust me, I'm just a nobody from Buffalo. And the thought of what if my project got real consideration from one of them, it could change everything for me and for my family. Imagine getting warm intros to Diddy, Dame, Ava, Maverick. They are so high up. <laughs> you can't even expect them to reach back, even with a warm introduction. But I'm always going to try because, hey, you never know. And why not think how to make it in the world? And if I'm good enough, they will find me. And one day I might have built that hundred million dollar brand and have a Netflix series. For now, I know YouTube is worldwide. So here I am in Cartagena, Colombia, taking my vision of supporting one million dreamers internationally. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and continue to follow this journey. Look, <laughs> look, we're on our way to Cartagena. <laughs> turn up. <laughs> Next wave. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> hey. oh my God.